never allow anyone kill this. Now, which means I'll be speaking on more than one point. Now, in the first service, I said, you must never allow anyone to kill love in your life. Please go and listen to it online. It will really bless you. Christianity is sitting on love. Ori ife, ni Christianity jokole. Now, in this second service, very, very important, I won't take your time because we have uh, a set of twins to dedicate. Do not allow anyone, now when I say anyone, do not allow anyone kill your investment in the kingdom. Now that's what I'll be speaking on this morning. Do not allow anyone kill your investment in the kingdom. The reason why I use anyone, hear me, the devil does not fight people directly. He fights us by using people against us. Satani could do you ko any kenny for I. It do you call Satanity, young penny, do you call Nippe, Oman Ram, Oman Lua, winning or Siwani. Now, and when I say don't allow, uh, 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 do, do not, what's the topic again? Do not allow, never allow anyone kill this. Listen, it is possible that people kill it, but you can prevent them from killing it. So, our points that we'll be talking about today. Very loaded. Do not allow anyone kill your investment in the kingdom. Now, let me start by showing you what an investment is. We all should know it, but let me just explain. You know, an investment is anything you put your resources, resources into that will yield gain later. You know, that's what an investment is. Anything you put your resources into for gain. Anything you put your resources into for gain is an investment. That Okay, what is he doing? He's doing something that will bring gain. Now, most of you don't know that there's what we call investment in the kingdom of God. What will make you to be great in this year that we are in is when you don't allow anyone to kill your investment in the kingdom of God. Now, when we talk an investment in the kingdom of God, I'm, I'm talking about you putting in your resources, putting in your talent, putting in your time, putting in your calling, putting in your giftings into anything that will advance the kingdom of God. Hear me. I must tell you this truth. Anything you do for the expansion of God's kingdom will bring back gain to you. People don't understand that when you are working for God, you are investing. I will show you today. They don't understand. They think that when they are working for God, God is just using them. When you are working for God, you are investing. The same as you invest into shares. You invent, invest into companies. The kingdom of God is God's company. Now, the same way those companies will now say, it's gotten to a point now, let us share our profit. We call it dividend. Let's share our profit. There's also a time in the kingdom of God where God will decide to say, let's look at the investment of these people and let's begin to give them shares. Their profit, their dividends. Let's take them one after the other. We have a lot of scriptures to read. Hallelujah. Let's start with Numbers chapter 12, 7 to 9. Numbers chapter 12, please increase my volume a little bit. 7 to 9. We have a lot of scriptures. I want to show you that there is nothing you are doing in God's kingdom that is not an investment, either negative or positive. Now, let's, let's look at this one together. It says, my servant Moses, look at this. It's not so... Who is he? He is faithful in all my house. Now, which means that Moses invested his calling faithfully. God is saying he's faithful in all my house. Look at God is now saying, with him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark species, and the similitude of the Lord. Shall he behold? Wherefore, then 
Were you not afraid to speak against my servant? Ah, eruti e bayi e nyotomfi oti tonu tofin shisheni nu ile mi uluwa soro uluwa wani shit iru e nyonyele wa lon soro eleni. God was angry. Ah, ah. Look at verse nine. A man that is walking faithfully in my house. You know what uh, Moses' investment was? He was using his gift faithfully. Now, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. If you see verse 10, show me verse 10, you will see that as God departed, leprosy came upon, and the cloud departed from the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became what? Osi Dete became leprous, white as snow, and Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And to Dalene, you don't speak against a person that is, has decided to commit himself to faithful service with his gift in God's hands. Now, in the case of Moses, Moses was the leader. He will receive words from God. He will come and deliver to the people. In your own case, you may not be like that. You may be the drummer. You may be the keyboardist. You may be the person cleaning the toilets. You may be the person sweeping the church. You may be in the beautification department. As long as you are investing your gift faithfully, hear me, you are investing. And you see that the investment of Moses made God to fight for him. This year, God will fight for you. I didn't hear your amen. Look at the next one in 1 Kings chapter 18. 1 to 4. Now, so Moses in his own invested his gift faithfully. In the case of this man we are going to read, his own was charity. Charity, a gift. No, we invest. Look at what he did. And it came to pass, <coughs> after many days, that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Go and show yourself to Ahab. I will send rain upon the earth. It's up in verse 4. Show me verse 2. Let's move together. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab. And there was a there was a sore famine, serious famine in his in Samaria. There was no food anywhere. Move on. We stop at verse 4. Let's go very fast. Those of you there, don't wait for me to be saying move on. Now, an Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Governor of where? The house of Ahab, the man in charge of monitoring Ahab's house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. And look at what he did on his own because he feared God. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took an hundred prophets. He shared and shared TNL. He took hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. Can you see what he did? The Bible says he took 100 prophets. Okay, don't worry. I can take care of 100 prophets. God has blessed me. Give me 100 pastors. I will take care of them. You know, and he was taking care of them. How did he take care of them? He was giving them bread and giving them water. Giving them bread and giving them water. This was his own kingdom investment. Now, he was not a prophet. He did not know how to preach. But he had money to use. Every one of us that wants to enjoy 2023, you must understand what we call kingdom investment. There must be something you are doing to promote the things of God. I heard that they were killing God's servants. They were killing the servants of God. I didn't know what to do. I had to go and hide 100 of them. Let's see another one again. Let's see another one. In Luke chapter uh, 8, 1 to 3. Luke chapter 8, 1 to 3. Now, look at these ones. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. Jesus was busy preaching, going everywhere, and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmity, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. That was our own testimony. Verse 3, verse 3. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Chusa Eros Steward, and Susanna, and many others. 
What did they do? They chose their own kingdom investment. What was it? Which ministered unto him of their substance. Show me the message Bible, verse 3 alone. You will understand it clearly. Now, these women, they gathered themselves together. Joanna, wife of Chusa, Herod's manager, and Susanna, along with many others, who used their what? Their considerable means to do what? To provide for the company. Can you see? They are not in the choir. They are not in the, in the technica. You know, there are some people where you we we can't see them here. They are in the technica. They are inside the heat over there. I know very soon, when God gives us our own property, they will be inside the AC. Let me say amen for them now. They are there, making sure that the sound is neat. There are those in the media. They are the ones making sure that people are watching us online. You know, yesterday, I was somewhere, uh, uh, what, three days ago, and the person was saying, my brother said, Pastor, that he's, he's in Spain. He said the church in Spain, they don't speak English. They speak Spanish. That he doesn't hear anything. That thank God for the internet of God's power evangelical mission. That he's always online, watching the service. You know that there are some things you are doing for God, you don't know that it makes sense. He said in Spain, they don't speak English. And he does not understand Spanish language. But the only, the only thing that is keeping him moving is because he used to be a member of our church when he was in Nigeria. And now that he's in Spain, what he does is to sit down every Sunday morning to watch our services live. That's where he gets blessed. They are working for God. Now, these, three, these women that gather themselves together, the Bible says they are about how many in number? I think eight or so in number. They gather themselves together from their own salary. They gather together money. And what were they doing? They were investing in the ministry of Jesus. So you don't worry. And yes, I'm a preach law. Emma Wasulo, our mama take your own jay. Tell Batik Bawe so time to my Jeff Jonfua. Tell Batik Bawe so time to my Jonfua. Bow no more long, she ma wa. See only nin cotton she, nin joba long. And you are saying, Ula, bless me. Oh God, bless me. How will God bless you? How will you say you are a child of God? There's nothing you are doing to expand your father's kingdom. There are diff different departments. Let's look more. Let's look more. Let's look at more. Maybe you can find your own. Another example again, in, the, uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, <clears throat> verse 5, thank you. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 5. Wow. The well-fed are out begging in the streets for, for cross. While the, where am I now? They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. For they that were hungry ceased, so that their barren had born how many? Seven. That's Hannah's testimony. But what was Hannah doing before testimony came? Hannah gave her only son. Hannah said, I didn't have money. But Lord, to buy for me, Lord, more money. Umuti mashi, maafimo awo alufa. Can you alone only reload? On tell me if I fish uh support from job, I will give my own son so that you can use him. And God bless time. I will still get to the point of the blessing. Then we look at Luke chapter 5. Let's take one more before I begin to talk deep. Luke chapter 5 from verse 1. Luke chapter 5 from verse 1. We are looking at kingdom investment. Kingdom investment. There must be something you are doing for God. And it came to pass that. As the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. That's Jesus, our Lord. He was preaching. He stood by the lake. Now, let's move now. Let's move now. Let's move now. Verse 2. As he stood by the lake, the Bible says, and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were already washing their nets, ready to go home. What did Jesus now do? When he saw them washing their nets, he entered into one, into, into one of the sheep's which was Simon's, and prayed him and said, Oga, Oga, I've entered your ship. Now, can you please shift this ship away from land? Go back into the sea. You know, what did Peter do as his own kingdom investment? He, re he, he released his boat on lease for Jesus. He just said, use my boat. Use it for evangelism. And beloved Jesus used the boat. That was his own kingdom support. His own kingdom investment. There must be something you are doing. 
Don't think that you can just say, hey, I've given my life to Jesus Christ. If you give your life to Jesus, it's not to the benefit of God. It's for your own benefit. Now, but after you have given your life to Jesus, there must be something you must say, Lord, I want to be doing this for you. Lord, use me to the glory of your name. I remember the day I had the call of God over my life. I didn't know that God would use me. When I gave my life to Christ, I joined the evangelism department. Anywhere they said there was a need, I'll join. Later they said they need more people at the visitation. I joined the visitation department. It got to a point they said, ah, we need people at the prayer department. I joined the prayer department. Do you know that later I was growing in that church, I later eventually became the head of all those departments. I was head of evangelism, head of visitation, head of intercessory at the same time. Before God now called me. What is your kingdom investment? I'm asking, what is your kingdom investment? If anything should show up now that is negative, what will you call upon? Or have you forgotten that something happened in Isaiah 38? A king was sick. His name was King Hezekiah. And the Bible says the sickness was terrible. God now sent his prophet Isaiah. Go and tell King Hezekiah that he will die. That he will not recover from that disease. And Isaiah went to prophesy. Thus said the Lord. God said, I should tell you, you won't recover. Ah, ah, I saw you, my Lord. Hezekiah, I saw you, my Lord. Hezekiah did not talk to the prophet. He, the Bible says he turned to the wall and said, Oh Lord, remember. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma. In times of challenges, what will you tell God to remember? He is to remember all your gossip, 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 Oh, what become commander Beru? What do you want God to remember? Is it that you that you, you a sister cannot stay in church? You want to chase them, bro? Is that what God should remember? There must be something that God will look upon. If at the times of challenge, the Bible says, and Ezekiah said to God, Remember. And the Bible says, before Isaiah got to the door, God said to him, Go back. Go and tell my servant Ezekiah that he will not die again. That I will add another 15 years to his year. Ah! Wait, wait. Because God, remember, he got 15 years more. Which means that the 15 years was the profit, the dividend of his what? Of his investment. What's your service in church? And we will say, in the service. And you just go like that. No, 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 no. Be part of this is your father's house. It is his kingdom. When they call meeting for, for shareholders, if you don't have share, you won't sit down, Abby. Say, okay, we want to share dividend. If you don't have shares, you don't have dividend. When God says, okay, it is time to bring profit, it is those who have investment that will gain. That's why I'm sent this morning to talk to you. I told them in the first service, I was sleeping JJ on Friday night. It was inside my dream that they were telling me, go and teach the people never to allow anyone kill their love. Go and teach the people never to allow anyone kill their kingdom investment. And they kept on explaining the meaning. As I woke up, asked my wife, we were supposed to come out together yesterday. I said, please go. Go alone. I want to write. I got a dream. And God is saying, I should tell you. When time comes that you need help, what do you want God to remember? I always tell my children, anytime there's a financial need in your life, remind God something. What did I do? All the money they gave us during our naming ceremony of all our three children, one after the other, we gave God a tithe. And I used the tithe to enter covenant between them and God. And I always tell my children, I've taught you the way of giving. There must be something you mention 
100, please give us the light. We need the light because of those online. Are they still watching? Okay, thank you. Now, let's go deeper. What do you stand to gain for your kingdom investment? What do you stand to gain for your kingdom investment? What do you stand to gain for your kingdom investment? What do you stand to gain for your kingdom investment? You gain grace. The word G-R-A-C-E. Grace. That's what you stand to gain. It could be grace for finances. It could be grace for longevity, long life. It could be grace for good health. It could be grace for connection. It could be grace for expansion. It could be grace for open doors. It could be grace on different levels. Over your kingdom uh, 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 investment. You know what God said to Isaac? Because your father Abraham served me and obeyed me you will prosper. Ah, Which means that the grace that Abraham received was generational. See I hear. It, God didn't prosper Isaac because Isaac planted in the land. Mm -mm. God prospered Isaac because of Abraham. Imagine God said to a man, stand up. Go to where I will show you. Not to where I have shown you. And the man stood up and started packing at home. And told his family members, well, I'm leaving, sir. I'm leaving. Everyone be asking to where? Ibo le losa. Ibo le losa. Only me go team of team of love. Olu asha ni king king bara di king malo. It is grace you gain when you render kingdom service. I will show you how the devil plans to kill your kingdom investment. I will show you. I'll tell you four things, and we and we go for dedication, and we close. But don't allow the devil to kill it. So many children of God, their kingdom investment has been killed. Otiku. Let's go to number one. What does it, what, sorry? Let's observe the devil's plan to kill our desires to invest in the kingdom. Let's observe the devil's plan to kill our desire to invest in the kingdom. Number one. The devil's first plan is to kill, sorry, to kill your hunger for kingdom investment is to distract you from the real reward and rewarder. Now, what is his first plan? To distract you from the real reward and your rewarder. Now, can I tell you the truth? The first thing the devil wants to do to stop you from investing in the kingdom is to make you think that your pastor is your rewarder. Can I tell you this truth? I cannot reward you. In fact, I am too small to reward you. Now, if you begin to look at your pastor, you begin to expect money. Money from church is not your reward for kingdom investment. I've told you when I started, it is grace. So when the devil wants to distract you, he shifts your focus. So that you, instead of looking at God and working with the intention that I'm working for God, he makes you to begin to look at the pastor. Pastor, pastor is not even doing well. Pastor did not even say thank you. Pastor did not even greet me. Pastor did not even, ah, 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 ah. Do they not know that I have challenges? Money is too small. Look at the 15 years that God gave to Ezekiah. Can money buy it? I must tell you the truth. The most value, valuable things of life, money cannot buy it. I come again. The most valuable things of life, money cannot buy it. After all, we had a president, a sitting president that died on the throne in Nigeria. Musa Iradwa. We had a sitting president. If money could save his life, money would have done it. There are several things money cannot do. Several things to go I come again. Several things to holy shit. If I want to, to value it, holy shit. That's why we need grace. That's why the Bible says it is a blessing of God that maketh man rich without sorrow. But when the devil wants to distract you, he shifts your focus. It distracts your focus and makes you begin to think of other things. 
instead of focusing on the real thing. Say so here. I wrote here, once he succeeds to make you to begin to expect the wrong thing, you will begin to look towards the wrong place. What are the wrong thing? Money. What are the wrong thing? Tied to. What are the wrong thing? Recognition. Once you begin to expect that I've been in that church now, I've been working in that church now, I've been doing this in that church now, I've been doing that in that church now, by now you can see I'm supposed to be an elder in that church. That's not the real thing, brethren. That's not the real thing. You can be an elder without grace. And if you're an elder without grace, you experience disgrace. The only doors that not, that, listen, the, the, well, let me put it this way. There is no door that grace cannot open. But see, there are doors that titles can never open. See, I hear. Are you angry? Some people are getting, you'll be getting angry. They are, they are not showing recognition. Won't tell you. That will call me. Ah. Ma, 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 so be more. I remember that time we needed the gen we are using now. I was making an announcement. We need gen. And Robert stole our gen. I didn't know that a young boy, a young boy in the church. He has not been. In fact, I only saw him on the crossover night. I've not seen him in church. Before that crossover night, the last time I saw him was in June. He was in church. He was saying, Lord, I'm trusting you for a car. He said he told God the kind of car. I will, I will share the testimony. It was, I got this testimony when he now came to deliver the gen. He said, Lord, if you can bless me to buy this gen for the church, I trust you for 2021 model of Highlander. 2021 model. And lo and behold, it was between him and God inside the church. I didn't know that God had taught somebody's heart. But I was seated in church, I mean, at the Alebu church, and I had a call. Hello, sir. And I, I, I recognized his brother's voice. Hello, bro, what happened? He said, sir, where are you? Are you at liberty? I said, no, I'm at Alebu. I said, what happened? He said, I want to deliver the gen. I said, which gen? He said, the one that they stole. God did the miracle in my life, and I'm using that miracle to bring the gen. I said, I'm at Alebu. Sir, so can you describe? I describe. As he got to the level church, we're about bringing the gen down. I said, this is not the size of the gen that we are trusting God for. He said, eh, I say yes. I said, this one cannot carry anything, but there's no problem. If this is what you have capacity to buy, we will be trusting God for another one. He said, sir, let me return it. What is the capacity of the one I mentioned? He said, I will return it. Instantly, my presence, he called where he bought it. He said, this is not the capacity. As he finished telling them, they said, you should return it. Do you know what he said? He said, sir, this generator gave back to this car. That I was trusting God for a car, and I was praying. Can you imagine if such a person is saying, ah, Timali, Tomali, Tolon, 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 Lu, Mikin, Rajay, and Kipa, Sotia, or Demi, Bishop. Bishop Uramoto. Hello. Me look at Bishop Uramoto. Tied to Bishop Kumagbavisa. Hey, it be tied to Bishop Shepoka Kirinsen. And the Bishop's Louis Okadabai. And the Bishop's Louis Okadabai. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one hundred and thirty-one. One big cross solo. Mori Bishop Kondjo Kon Taya Ejo Lek Betiti Pelu Filaluri at the cross solo. Ode tu one ah. Which means he Oye Bishop Oye. Ola no fun orara. May you not take a title that is bigger than your level. You don't understand that prayer. Ode abi kolodje Oye monga ji adugo in. Command the machine. Talk less of Kukunimoto. Kuama Bakonimogaji, Walimoe. Mogaji, Walimoe, Wama Moka, Mogaji, Bibo. On that I see to get 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 to get
Okay, switch. They want to change to an agent. See, I hear. Don't miss it. Even those of you playing instrument, don't miss it. If that is the reward you are looking at, you have missed it. You can be playing and will be paying you, and your life won't change. I'm telling you, we, you can be playing, playing, playing. Your life won't change. It happens. We used to have a keyboard. His name is Mayowa. Mayowa was playing keyboard. He said, so man, I didn't see him for some years. We now needed a keyboard this seriously. I now call him. Mayowa Ibuluwa. Only Sakilo Shele. Only money need keyboard this thing just Sunday. He said, Samawa play for him. He finished playing. As usual, we asked him, okay. We, we counted money to give him. Only oh, sir, don't bother. I said, what? Why? He said, sir, I stopped collecting money for playing in God's house last year. And as I stopped, God gave me a job. I'm now a banker. I work with FCMB Bank. He said, sir, as long as I was waiting for the money to collect, I was always waiting for the, that money. There was always a need for me to wait for it until the day I stopped. Now, those of you that are workers too, I hear that some of you are already complaining in your heart. Ah. There are some places, even if they give you, eh? When uh, the Kneskemi's sister was wedding, my mentor said, they said you are their pastor. Their mom is pastor. I said, yes, sir. Join us to minister on the altar. So I joined them to minister on the altar. They, put me, they gave me a program to do. I minister for the first time on that altar. And as they finished, they said, let's go to the office together. We went to the office. They would say, let's pray. They now said, please, can you package? Uh, I said, sir, a package for pastor. I said, sir, God forbid, sir. This was, I said, God forbid, sir. For me to collect money from you, God forbid, sir. I dip my hands into my pocket. And I put a seed on his shoes. And I use it to touch my head. The places that man have entered, I have never entered in my life. Uh, is it the, it's not money that took him to those places. Because I remember what happened to the, uh, 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 in the life of, uh, 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 what's his name again? Bishop David Oedeko. He entered Bishop, the Archbishop Benson, the house, house of blessed memory. And he saw money of different currencies. And that, they said, Idaosa said, you know how Idaosa used to say, get in and pack as many as you like, feel like. David, get in and pack as many as you feel like. Bishop Oedeko said, he went to the money and lie on it, stood up, went before him and knelt down and said, sir, if you give me this money, you have not made me. Give me what made this money to be in your possession? He said, the archbishop burst into tongues. Bring your head. He spoke to it. Carry what I carry. Go beyond me. Is it not clear today? Don't let the devil shift your focus. It is what you want you get. If you want money, continue. See, I hear now. I didn't hear you. People are beginning to have encounters now. And are beginning to focus on the real thing. You to focus on it. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 shows us the real thing. What is in Proverbs 10 22? Show us. Let everybody see. It. it shows us what you should expect when you render kingdom service. Let's read together after the count of three. Everybody look to the screen. One, two, and let's go. The blessing of the Lord. It maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it. What maketh a man rich? The blessing. 
That's what your focus should be. Don't let anybody make you focus on the pastor. Che pastor in here, you know, people will say, ah, mommy, why am I try gone? I try gone in far, and then coordinator on choir will boom in share. She can pastor here, they were so no. They want to, they are going somewhere, one for poison mind, you know. Eh, my pastor busy gone, ah, ah. Mama and call, she mama was song or come pa. Beshin Corin ten she da da. And yeah, mama no. Like you won't be see ah t pastor bat ye busy. She mama no ma busy ni. I'm sure mama knew fe jackin won reward won love con ye. To back ba won la ye. Wo sa. She moke. Eh satani kule so kon tu fe jeni no ba. Abi, abole so to fe je, kule so to unfe je. But what 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 Let's take number two. I don't have time. I should my dedicate baby. Number two. And what strategy? Strategy is that any man lo on land lo land way yo. Shagada baskele. Now listen. The devil at times brings demonic minded counselors around you to weaken your hands. They will say words like. They are just using you. One can lose talent. Shall we pass on your king? But not really on me. At least, I'm a pastor. So I'm not going to shout. But not really on. She passed on Toron or passed on Hong Toron or not really on Marini. I be passed on. One word. Okay, your joke. Okay, your do not do that. Okay, that's your mama wash your shit. Passed on to Baba Miss Oku. Who need to be in me. Let me tell you briefly a story. There's this man of God. I respect him so much. I won't mention his name. I respect this man of God so much. When we say one of the servants of God that has prophetic grace, my wife will know the person I'm talking about. He has it. We used to invite him. We would minister and go. So this particular day, we had convention. We have agreed. We have printed palm bills. So I only went to remind him a few days to his ministration day. That, sir, it's next week. Oh. As I got there, he said, Pastor Prince, I said, sir, see Pastor Susan, so and so that's his junior pastor. And the junior pastor sat in front of me, Pastor Prince, um, how are you preparing to take care of um, Reverend Susan, so and so? Uh -uh. I said, this question is strange. We have been hosting him now. It's no matter of five, six years. We are planning. No, how much are you planning for his honorarium? I say it's not in your mind to know. I know how much we have for him that we are going to give him. It's a free, will, it's a free offering. He said then, okay, I'm coming back to it. What kind of musical equipment do you have? Uh -uh. Um, three. Um, um, what up? Are you going to rent an hotel? I said he lives here at New Garage. He'll be coming to minister at Liberty Road. Will he branch sleeps more in the hotel? Come and <laughs> And I told him, I said, if this is the way you want to have it, maybe we should cancel the meeting. He said, no, 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 no. Uh, let me tell you what happened. What happened is that he went to minister in a church last week and they could not even give him ordinary water. I said, it happens like that. That we have to be looking for water for him to drink when he was going. It happens like that. I say it happens like that. I have traveled from here to Kutonu to go and preach before. Pastor, if you are not want to hand it to Ogwe. Ogwe, be missy show Ululoli. It was a Vichy. I went to Kutonu to preach. They didn't put me in hotel anywhere. From Ibadan, we got to Kutonu. I even went with. They said I should come with some mentalists. I went with keyboardists. I went with drummer. <laughs> We got there, we, we met them before the program, we finished preaching, and I didn't see pastor again. 
Thank God that when I was going, I had transport to and fro. Because right from time, I don't have the mindset that you are doing the work of God and collecting something. Eh? God that does not cause him anything to touch somebody from somewhere to bless you. So, don't forget, they will, they will, I call them demonically minded counselors. They'll be telling, what call low yini? Pastor low yini? Daddy, she na yami. Daddy, she na yami. You know, she's a joke. And you know, I took the screwdriver, and the plier, and my lobby. She, I'm going to be a fool. She na yami, I'm going to be a fool. 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 She's a fool. She's a fool. No, no, no. She's a fool. And my dear, I'm going to be a fool. It's true. Because I need to work on the mindset of a lot of you. Yeah, eh? Kini kawa shiva, eh? Ah, ah, daddy, she na yomi not ijo. Ah, papa mi raye. Papa mi raye. Ema binu eje kawo. Eh, ma walola. Daddy, she na yomi. Ah, oma tuti dollar. Ah, papa, eja watula. Why? Because a demonic counselor somewhere. And sincerely speaking, unless you lie, everyone that is rendering kingdom service, as, they are not the same. Including me. As I'm preaching to you, are you paying me for this? You are not paying me. I'm not expecting you to pay. If you say you want to pay me, I will not agree. Because there are ways God bless me. He sends people to me very well. Here. These demonic counselors, some of them will not say they are using you. Some I wrote here, some of them will say, Oju aye. Yeah. Yeah, she now you're not a toilet. Oju aye. Oju aye. Kin of a fishy. One fe fiddy. She, yeah, she now you're me. Are you getting what I'm saying? But one more more, fair my back being so like all Satan, you need so contour general bow. Who confess Batty Dam at Eve for Jenny? So they tell you, I service you are doing because they want to discourage you. Some of them will even look at you and say, Ah, 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 Sister Janet, in no choir. Alone will leave Baru service in Lila. A bar called tenor, auto, at the soprano. A lady. Alone will leave. Tell by Shannon Jay. A ye. You know what they want to do? They want to discourage you. Are they your God? Render your service. The service you are rendering is between you and who? And God. Continue to, no, no matter what they say, take your kingdom investment serious. Ask my wife, she knows now, I feel bad when I don't see our people in church. I feel bad when our people don't prosper. I feel bad when, in fact, if, you tell, if I tell you how I pray, the, those that are yet to have children, I'm not happy. The ladies that are yet to get married, I'm, they are my burden. If I sit down, that's what I'm thinking, I'm praying about. And God is rewarding me for it. Say kingdom investment. I didn't hear you. You can do better now. Shout it aloud. They may even show you attitude, especially those of you in the ushers. Ekushe. If it's about so fellow me, uh, uh, mommy, mommy, or auntie, please come to this place. Please come and sit here. Some of you will you will still insult the ushers as if they are they are just uh, uh, what do you call them? Nobody. Don't worry. All they want to do is they are like serpents trying to discourage you. 
You just see your assignment as your own kingdom investment. There are some investments that we have short-term profit. It will take a very short time for profit to come. There are some that will take long time. Ten years you are still investing. But the day they will say we are sharing our dividend, wow, you will smile to the bank. The day God will say, hey, it is time for me now to now bring the reward of this your service. Everyone now begin to wonder, Kilo Shilano, the one that has been doing these things for how many years? For several years. Don't let the attitude of anyone. If I wrote it here, close your ears to discouraging rumors. As long as you are a kingdom investor, close your ears to discouraging rumor. As long as you are a kingdom investor, close your ears. Close your ears. They will say and say and say, but don't listen. Keep investing. Because man cannot reward you. Number three. <laughs> Listen. The devil at times will show you the glory of some people doing what you are not doing in the kingdom. In order to mock your own service. For instance, somebody may come up and say, Ah, maybe Abeni will say, Ah, look at Abeni is popular. Abeni is getting popular. Quiet low tiberio. Quiet low wow. Ah, Kiru Momishina Yomitwani. Department to Akumania. Bow the Mishifa popular by. Ah, Bow the Mishifa popular by. Bow the Mishifa popular. Eh, your bow no is very popular. They can't have the same kind of glory now. Hello, am I communicating? But when God decides to show up for her, now look up. I want to show you something. I want you to understand that everybody's assignment in the kingdom can never be the same. See, I hear. Put this scripture on screen. While they are putting it on screen, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 4 to 6, I want to show you something. Now look at, look at my hand. This is my wedding ring. This is my wedding ring. Now, can I, can I take this wedding ring and put it on my eyes? If, I put it, if I'm to put it on my eyes for, and for it to stay, what will I do? I will have to look up. And if I'm looking up and walking, what am I going to be doing? I will fall down. Now, it means that this eyes, if it wears a wedding ring, cannot fulfill its purpose. Hello? But the wedding ring cannot see itself. The, the wedding finger cannot see itself. He it can only wear it. But he needs the help of the eyes to see it. You didn't hear me. He can wear, it, it has, the wedding finger can never see his own ring. He can only wear it. There are so many things that the leg can do. But the leg cannot see. Our assignments can never be the same. That's why the leg will wear the shoe. It is beautiful. But it takes the eyes to see the shoe. Understand that since our assignment varies, our glory will vary. So when they are praising some people, don't look down on your own assignment. That's the focus of this number three. Because at times, you want to jump out of your own assignment because it's like your assignment is having less praise. One that look at department, one that look at technical, one that look at media, one require and bububa, one that instrumentalist and bububa, one tierawa. Our sanctuary keepers. That's why I told you at the beginning that God is your rewarder. May you get to the place of your reward. I say may you get to the place of your reward. Number four. The fourth thing the devil does to kill 
your kingdom investment. Do not allow the devil show you those who seem to be busy investing in the kingdom yet struggling in life. Hmm. Last portion. I'll speak on this last point before my wife will come up and will take dedication. Do not allow the devil show you those who seem to be busy investing in the kingdom yet struggling in life. That, why are you deceiving yourself? The devil will say, why are you deceiving yourself? Why are you deceiving yourself? Why are you deceiving yourself? Look at Susan so person. Look at Susan so person. Are they, are they not kingdom investors? Have they not been working for God? Look at their life. I was looking for a story in the Bible. I try and try. I try to get it. I couldn't get the scripture. <coughs> I did everything to get it. I couldn't get it. But I said, I will tell you. My people can look for it. See, Jesus said, he gave them a parable. He said, two men came to pray in the tabernacle. The first one came. He called himself a Pharisee. He now stood at the entrance of the tabernacle. Dressed as a Pharisee. People respect Pharisees because they look righteous. He said, he was talking to God. He said, Father, in a very loud voice, you know I'm not a sinner. Like the publicans. You know that I pay my tithe. You know that he was just bragging. But everybody was saying that he was praying. Ah. Those of you there, God bless you. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one, a Pharisee. And the other, a publican. It was publican I didn't check. I was looking for... Okay. The Pharisee stood and prayed. Thus with himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men. Extensioners. I want to feel like Unjust. Adulterers. Or even as tax collectors. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the tax collector standing afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven. He couldn't look up. But beat his breast saying, God, be merciful to me. A sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Now look up. Do you know that? Some of the people you think are working for God are not actually working. It. Now, in church, you know that everybody will think that the, the Pharisee, Abi, is one. <laughs> in fact, I learned that one a few years ago. That See, anybody that have extra zeal in church, they are fake. So, if I see anybody that is extra zealous, I used to look at them like this. Deceive this eye. But you see this one. I'll be watching you. My mentor said in, one, in their church, they had one brother, very, very acrobatic. If you'll be leading prayer, everything is ah, ah. He said, so they love him. They put him as prayer coordinator. He was always, until one day, his younger sister came to church from the village to look for him. Came to the house. Didn't find They said, you should come to church. He came to church. The brother was not in church. He said, now ask of him, mention his name. The answer. He said, That's our prayer warrior. He said, in, in your church, prayer warrior. He said, My brother smokes in their hand a lot. He said, So when they called him, uh, not knowing that all those acrobatic display is to. <laughs> he will first smoke in their hand very well before coming for intercessory. Then he will now look for a way. <laughs> That was the same thing that was happening to that man that used to beat Gongon here before. Nobody knew. We used to enjoy him. He's dead now. They said he plays, he plays Gongon like he has played here severally. Every time I used to call, anytime we, we see him, we throw this one away. 
Because three hours, the brother is not tired. I see Tramadol. So, I want to buy any kaka kaya. I need to buy two. I want to sell leju. Kaka buy two. On loan lag, on ju. No man show one year. Eh. Ah. Imagine things lost story to me. So, look at this man now. Ta no man so kuk buy two. The same thing. I want to tell you, look, when she share alone, one day man she, only juju a ye non she. It means so I can tell you categorically, if God use you, God will pay you. If you see anybody that says, I'm, I'm doing the work of God and I'm struggling, go and check. Are they actually doing it? Me, I know I'm doing it and I will do more. Will you involve yourself in kingdom investment this year? Are you sure? Say the yes boldly. Yes. Bow down your head and say, Lord, use me. Just begin to tell the Lord to use you. Begin to pray. Lord, use me. I yield myself to you. Use me.